Hello and welcome to this tutorial on system hacking. So we've discussed the overview of system hacking and today I just want to quickly show you two tools. They would be Hydra which is a password dictionary attack tool as well as Armitage which is a front end for the Metasploit framework for exploiting vulnerabilities in servers. Alright, so let's get started. So in this lab I have this Kali machine and I also have a virtual machine which is running the Metasploitable framework which is a virtual machine that you can download off the internet which is great for testing exploits and labs etc etc. So let's just move this off the side and the first thing we want to do is obviously scan. So let's quickly do an nmap scan on that IP which is 192.168.1.103 and see which ports are open and I will do a full scan sorry might small s capital T great so we can see that FTP SSH and Telnet are open so this is definitely a server that we can remote into so obviously we would want to first try and get the username and password and through some social engineering I've managed to get a um, username which is MSF admin and now I'm going to do a password attack using Hydra so this is how we do it let's clear the screen first okay before I launch Hydra I just want to make you aware that there are a number of password hack, uh, guessing tools or attack tools in Kali Linux. If you just go to applications uh, you'll see there's an entire menu item for password attacks. As you can see Hydra is not in this list but it is in the Kali system. And if you recall and I just want to take you back there I want to now quickly just go to that Kali listing and show you exactly how many password guessing tools there are. So if you recall it was Kali and penetration testing tools so if we quickly go to that website we will see that under password guessing which is a little bit further down let me just get there password attacks you can see there's a whole host of tools that actually do password attacks and as you can see not all of them are listed in the Kali menu but there is THC Hydra which we will be using now okay so Hydra is quite quite a simple tool to use um, if I just type Hydra at the bash shell script you will see it will give me a whole host of options that I can use but if you look at the bottom here the example is Hydra minus lowercase l the username minus capital P and a pass list dot text file now this is a, a list a password list or a dictionary list that you either create or download off the internet for the purposes of this demo I've created a password list and I've also put the, the real password in just to show you how the thing works so if I quickly just go to that password list which I've called subs.txt you'll see I've put password and a whole bunch of other things in there but right at the bottom is the real password which is MSF admin okay so in theory the attack should work so let's try that all right so the command would be hydra minus lowercase l the username which is MSF admin minus capital P the password text file which is minus subs.txt and I'm going to try an SSH attack which is SSH colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address 192.168.1.103 let me just hit enter and as you can see within a few seconds it actually brings back that the username and the password and it gives you a nice green font so you can see it straight away you can also use this to attack other ports so just as an example let's quickly try FTP so all you do is just take SSH out and put an FTP there and then run the attack and as you can see within a few seconds it comes back again great so that is Hydra which is a, a great password attack tool and let's move on to Armitage to launch Armitage you simply just go to this menu item there and as you can see that there is Armitage but uh, 
just to let you know to, to get Armitage up and running you must start the Postgres SQL service and the command for that is service Postgres SQL start but when you try start Armitage it will give you that command okay so I've got Armitage up and running and this is what it looks like when it loads okay so the first thing we want to do is add a host to our attack workspace what you do is you literally go to hosts and then add hosts and let's add our metaploitable server which is 192.168.1.103 and add that okay so it's added one host now the next thing you want to do is literally click on the host right click now and let's quickly do a scan so now what it's going to do is as you can see it's running an nmap slash metasploit scan in the background and it's finding all those open ports which we know are open because we ran the nmap scan earlier and once the scan is complete we will then be able to see what options are available so what you want to do now is go to attacks and find attacks and what it's going to do now is going to query all those open ports all the banner grabbing that it's done and it's going to compare them to the exploit database which it already has on the Kali Linux system. Obviously this export database gets updated from time to time as new vulnerabilities are found in new systems. So let's just wait for that to finish. Okay great so that's done. So the attack analysis is complete and what when you right click now you'll see there's an attack menu. Okay so I'm going to as you can see it's found a whole host of attacks that we could possibly use against this but I'm going to attack the Samba service specifically the user map script. So if I click on that it'll now give me the options for the attack I'm just going to leave the default settings and I just want to say launch attack if you see in the bottom here the attacks run and when the icon changes to that red with lightning on it it means that the attack is successful once the attack is successful you can now right click again on this icon and you can see that there are a whole bunch of menu items there's the attack one from before etc but what's new is there's a shell here which is great so we can interact with the server or we can upload files let's interact with the server so we literally just click on interact and it opens up a new little shell tab here and this shell is actually running on the exploited server so if I type an if config you will see let me just scroll up slightly that I am running on the 192.168.1.103 address. I can then do things like add a user so that I can gain access if they ever change the password or etc etc or if they fix the vulnerability. So I now have full access to the server and that pretty much finalizes this uh, demo video on system hacking as per the uh, theoretical module that we did previously. The, there are a number of ways to gain access um, and over here I've shown you a password attack using Hydra and if you don't have password or username then you can use an exploit tool like Armitage or Metasploit and that pretty much sums it up thank you very much for watching